this is why it's good to have a YouTube channel because I can find out about things that you post in the comment section that I didn't know about and uh, audio notes paladin is one of those things that uh, I didn't know of before so this is a, a flip power amplifier made by audio note using the type 45 tubes so these are the 45s which are low power direct heated tubes 2 watts each and it's driven by a 6SR7 and the rectifier tube is a 5R4GY so unfortunately there was no uh, schematics available I didn't find the schematics online for the Paladin uh, but here I can show you this is the rectifier tube that it uses that's the 5R4GY and this is one of my favorite rectifier tubes this was one of Stu's favorite Stu Ono's favorite and as you can see uh, this is an octa tube and, and when you look at the names of the rectifiers you see this is called 5R4GY and, uh, and, and the names when you have the, the rectifier name starting with a number and then something it means that 5 means 5 volt filament so when you see a rectifier like 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 6CJ3 and then that's a, a, a 6 volt filament and there it's called 3 because it has a, it is only a, a half wave rectifier so it has only three elements and the three shows the number of elements so it has an anode a cathode and a filament and here the 5r4 the 4 shows it has four elements so it has a filament and a cathode and two anodes and then the two anodes are the two plates of the rectifier so here you can see one plate two plate and within the plates uh, as you can see there's a support structure going in there uh, that's the that's the cathode on the inside and it's by the way it's 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 connected directly to the filament as well so uh, the specialty of this 5r4gy are their extra long plates so this uh, because of those long plates and, and the internal structure underneath these plates uh, this rectifier tube is capable of handling very high plate voltages and very high currents and uh, it also has a very high voltage drop so you need to take that into account so your transformer transformer secondary voltage has to be quite a bit higher compared to using like a 5AR4 because when you have a 5AR4 they are socket compatible and they have the same filament voltage same filament current both of them are 2 amp filament current uh, but their output voltage is different and also their turn on time is different as well so what would you do uh, if if you had this amp or or if you wanted to build one for yourself uh, and i'm mentioning this especially because uh, given this rectifier tube choice uh, if you have an amplifier which is where the driver tube is capacitor coupled to the power tube then the and especially using 45s which have really low plate voltage in such a case the the output voltage that the 5i4 supplies these guys is just way too low so at this this operating point where the amp is operating is truly a sleeper tube and uh, it would be quite a bit of improvement in the dynamics and bass response of the amp if you swapped it for a 5AR4. Um, however, uh, eventually I 
I suspect that this is capacitor coupled because uh, most of the audio not uh, amps are although I might be surprised to learn if they are not however I didn't find schematics and any information so I suppose I assume that it is capacitor coupled so you could make uh, I would say an improved version of this amplifier for yourself by taking the 6SL7 as driver tube and direct coupling it to the 45 and then uh, you would have uh, uh, even you can uh, run the 6SL7 at really high plate voltages I mean high compared to uh, to a driver tube or an input tube in this case it uh, does both duties because the input tube is the one that receives the signal from your RCA jack and the driver tube is the one that gives the signal to your power tube. In this case, the input tube and the driver tube are the same thing. So people can call them either input or driver. Now, technically, both is correct. But if you have a three-stage amplifier, so there's an input tube, driver tube, power tube, then you cannot mix and match the nomenclature up because they have separate roles. But here, the role is shared uh, <laughs> among a single tube <laughs> for both input and driver. And in this case, if we just put a capacitor here, as probably the Paladin does, then uh, you gain the advantage that you do not need such high bleed pass voltage, but then you lose the advantage of this tube because this tube does not really wake up, I would say, until... 700 volts or higher uh, B plus voltages and eventually even if you direct couple the 45 let's say for the 45 you can run it at, uh, at 250 volts on the plate plus 250 volts for the uh, 6SL7 plate plus uh, like a couple of volts for the grid for the bias of the 6SL7 maybe let's count like two volts for that and the bias for the uh, 45s about 40 watts and if you add all these guys up then you have like 542 volts so plus this big boy drops about 60 to 80 volts depending on the load so probably here it drops about 70 volts so then we have a 612 volts supply that's required to feed your 2 watt per channel baby amplifier however in this scenario this tube this rectifier really wakes up and really shines and also uh, we have a tremendous drive for the 45 and uh, what what is that tremendous drive I'm talking about let's find it out in the next video